What does this remind you of? We can use frequencies to measure waves that are actually coming out from our brain. They can increase human cell rate generation by 40% just by using a frequency. I healed myself from a chronic disease I had for 10 years in 90 days from frequencies and technology and devices, breathing through your feet. Whoa, what? This actually creates electromagnetic fields. I was listening to this just for a minute and the pain was gone. We have digital supplements. Thanks for being here, David. You invented this thing called the chi coil, right? So these, these puppies right here, right? And then I know it's all based around frequency mm -hmm. as medicine, basically. So let's like rewind all the way to the very beginning. What do we mean when we say frequency? Well, it can mean many things, but if you look at it in the uh, very basic perspective, uh, frequency is just how many times something happens in a period of the time. So let's say you have something that you're clapping one second, that's one hertz, right? You're clapping two times per second, boom, 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 that's two hertz. So it's just the rate of something that happens in a period of time. Now we can take that concept and uh, use it for sound. So sounds are waves, right? You see right. on the, uh, a graph, like, so basically how many dips are there in a wave within a second that tells you how many hertz a sound is. Now, light also has frequencies, the same thing. Lights also has waves. So how many times does that light wave go up and down in a second? And that gives you nanometers or uh, how, how little space or how, how tiny those little waves are, uh, you measure it, right? So that's where frequency is. Now we take it a step further. We can use frequencies to measure uh, the waves that are actually coming out from our brain. Our bodies actually project out a electromagnetic field. So it's an energy field. It's like a life force field that you can measure that can be measured. So that's also can be a frequency. Whenever you Got have, it. whenever you experience emotions, happy, sad, whatever it is, depression, you know, excitement, gratitude, love, all those give off a unique kind of, let's say a uh, orchestra of frequencies that come out from every part of your body that can be measured too. Got it. So you mentioned three things. You said frequency is light, it's sound, and it's electromagnetic. So when we're talking about our bodies, which one are we talking about? All of them or one of them? In most cases, it would be electromagnetic, right? Okay. So, so for example, our hearts have a very large electromagnetic field. You can actually measure it out about 20 feet away from you if you're very healthy. Now. You, when you take someone that's unhealthy and you can measure their field, but it is, it'll be collapsed. It'll be very small and, and weak. So our bodies naturally have this energy field and the, the more, let's say healthy you are and the more aligned or more, you know, resonant you are, then mm -hmm. literally you actually have a larger energy field. And this is something you can actually measure with like a machine. Like how, yeah. how what do you use to measure it? Well, there's different types of machines. One of them is, uh, it's called an aura camera. What it does is it actually measures the electrical discharge from your fingertips because there's actually electricity or there's actually, um, uh, even like condensation that happens. Let's say you put your finger on a window, like a cold window, it starts to yeah. fog up around the hand, right? right. So your, your, your hand is actually giving off this heat and this moisture, as well as uh, like electric um, pulses. Uh, and there's a machine that you can basically uh, measure that each fingertip and each fingertip can indicate a different part of your meridians, right? We know that from tra uh, traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah. So, so the software analyzes that and then creates a image of how your body, uh, how much energy each of your meridians or organs have. So you can measure that's one way. There's other ways, which is a simple, um, well, not that simple, but there are some very highly sensitive devices that can measure electromagnetic fields. And, and because your body's electromagnetic field is still subtle, right? Compared to an actual magnet, you know? Yeah, right. Um, so, so, but it is still measurable. So you need a really highly sensitive device and that those are very expensive to get, but it's, it's, gotcha. it's doable, it's possible, yeah. Gotcha, okay. Cool. So then what is, what is the implication of this? The fact that we are electromagnetic beings, what does that mean? 
Well, a frequency can't be altered very easily. Just like if you tune a radio, right? If you, people, if you still remember tuning a radio, from yeah, like a different yeah, band yeah. or a band. Now, now we don't have that. We just press a button and then it changes yeah. the, the band of the, the station I listen to, right? So you can ch change your frequency easily and you can tune into a different radio station, right? Mm -hmm. Or you can, um, so the body is the same way. Uh, there's certain frequencies that are good for it. There's certain frequencies that make you feel really good. Uh, and it's been proven scientifically, there's frequencies that can help with every kind of psychological condition, like depression, anxiety, stress, any kind of mood disorder, even neuropathy. Uh, there's frequencies that can help with bone healing or re cell regeneration. NASA did a study showing that it can increase uh, human cell regeneration by 40% just by using a frequency. So, wow. okay. And we're yeah. saying like electromagnetic frequencies, electromagnetic, right? Yeah. That's the main one That's um, the main in one. our body. So you're saying our body produces these. And also if it comes from an external source, it also helps us. So it comes, it goes both ways. It goes both ways, but you, you have to realize that it's not just that everything around us, our whole environment, every, you know, thing we experience in life has a frequency. It's unavoidable. Uh, I mean, Nikola Tesla said that everything frequency, energy, and vibration. And that's, that's a fundamental truth that's throughout the universe. So, so it, it needless to say that our bodies operate on frequencies, our environment operates on frequencies, earth itself has a frequency. So, so we are, you know, every moment in the day, we are either being affect, uh, you know, um, we're both two things are happening. We're being affected by the environment. And also we have our own internal environment that we are either improving or, or not improving. Yeah. Right. So there's two things happening. Right. It's pretty wild when you dig into the quantum physics. Um, you know, we think that atoms are these solid things, but when you really look into it, it's I think 99.999% empty. Mm -hmm. So things aren't really solid. Right. And then what is that emptiness? It's all frequency. And, and that's true. Everything is mostly empty space. So if that's the fact, then that, that means that we're mostly energy, not, not mostly matter. We're mostly energy. So, and how you affect energy and, and how energy expresses itself is through frequency. Yeah. That's such a wild concept. I think that, you know, traditional medicine doesn't recognize mm -hmm. or talk about at all. Well, so now, now with all the process? developments in, in quantum, uh, you know, we have these quantum computers, we have these quantum, uh, you know, uh, scientific discoveries, like we have these new fusion reactors that can create energy out of like, like the sun. Before it's all science fiction, but now as we progress into the future, it's becoming more and more of a reality, more and more of a, uh, uh, you know, accepted into everyday life that yes, you know, the, the, what we experience is not actually, we can say not fixed, right? Because quantum physics basically says that everything's a probability, right? If you're, if you ob observe something, it only, it changes as the person observes it. So. And then uh, everything we experience, it's just a probability of it happening. So, so which kind of uh, help us to give us the idea that our minds can and our consciousness can actually alter the experience in life. Right? Yeah. So what we like perceive, the double slit hmm? experiment. Exactly. So, yeah. So, um, and it's pretty profound if you think about it, right? If you think about it, we think that the world happens to us, right? But it's actually the other way around we are experienced the, the world through our consciousness and we are, we can actually change what our consciousness does and how it perceives and how it even changes reality itself. Yeah. I love that stuff. It's so wild. Um, so what is the, um, the background on how you discovered this, uh, the chi coil and, and frequency as healing for the body? I healed myself from a chronic disease I had for 10 years. So for 10 years, I suffered from ulcerative colitis, internal bleeding of your guts. And yeah. it's so bad that it affects, you know, it ruins your life because you can't go out because you have to stay home. You're bleeding so much and you can't eat a lot of foods and you're always in fatigue and you always have stress and you always have low energy. And I suffered from that for a long time. I tried medication and which gave me side effects and skin, another skin disease I never had before. But no, I have to stop right there because, you know, then say, oh, here's another medication for your skin disease. And then it keeps going on. Yeah, and yeah. on. So I, 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 I just went to meditation at that time because I, I thought I got to 
you know, do some soul searching and figure out a way of getting out of this 10 year rut that I was in. And through my meditation, I started to um, go back to my roots, which is music, right? I studied music in school. I've been playing piano, guitar, singing, composing since I was a little kid. And I also, also uh, raised as a Christian. So I did prayers and stuff like that. And I believe in God. And I also did Tai Chi and, and Qi Gong. So I was playing around with energy manipulation and martial arts. At first, I didn't think it was anything real. I thought it was just some kind of thing I imagined in my body. But later on, I discovered that um, it was actually real. It's actually scientific. Because in 90 days uh, from starting to use frequencies and technology and devices, that I was, I was experimenting with, I actually healed myself. So this disease that I had for 10 years was completely gone. In without, 90 days, that's insane. 90, actually faster than that, but I say 90 days so people believe it because if I say, oh, it actually took me only 30 days, nobody would believe me. So, <laughs> so that's crazy. I say 90 days, I say, oh yeah, that, that's believable. You can do it in 90 days. So, um, so what happened is, uh, yeah, I, my life completely transformed because I healed my body and my, it was my body that was holding me back from a lot of things I wanted to do in my life, right? Because I wanted to be successful. I wanted to be, uh, you know, I wanted to pursue my martial arts more. I wanted to uh, have fun. I wanted to go out. I wanted to eat, <laughs> right? Yes. Without, without, and it's, you know, different things instead of just eating one thing all the time, which I was limited to before, right? So it changed my life completely. And now all that energy that was sucked up because of my disease now came back it wasn't drained out anymore. So I started accumulating more energy. And then it was so much because of the technology, because it gives you energy basically, right? Um, that, you know, sometimes you have these dreams when they're so vivid and you wake up and say, whoa, that was so real. And you, yeah. It's called lucid dreaming or so, so very vivid dreams, right? That only happens when you have a lot of internal energy. You realize that um, you need to actually charge up your chakras in order to, for that to happen. Okay. Um, what does that want... mean? Cause um, maybe you can help demystify all of that. I've seen those chakra charts where there's like different colors and different points here, right. or like the Chinese meridians, like what is, what is all of that? Those chakras, um, you know, uh, you know, it, it, everybody knows, or most people know that there's, you know, the sacral chakra, navel, uh, solar plexus, heart, throat, um, pineal gland or third eye and the crown chakra, right? So, so these are energy centers and, uh, it, you know, you can see it in traditional Chinese medicine too. They call it different things, but basically, um, you can measure the chakras as well with the device. Uh, for example, those points on your body, uh, similar to your acupressure points have higher electrical conductivity. So, that means that electricity travels through those parts of your body more efficiently than other parts of your body. So why is that? Why is the body designed that way? And the reason is because um, those are actual energy centers and they govern different parts of your body's functions. Okay. And so for example, uh, your belly button, that's called your navel chakra. And in Chinese traditional Chinese medicine, that's called your Dan Tian. And they call that, uh, so it's basically like your battery. And if you have chi, right, if you have life force, if you have, um, and you can call it electromagnetic energy. And if you can measure it and you can um, accumulate it there and you can you do that through, you know, healthy diet, you can do that through herbs, you can do that through qigong meditation, you can do that through, not as much as through exercise, but more through breathing then that will elevate that part of your um, chakra, that navel chakra. And when that's strong, you become more balanced. You become okay. more calm. Okay. As this, this simple practice, right? You can do this if you're listening. It's just to put your hand on your belly, right? And then as you breathe, feel the belly going up and down. So now I may, may move just a little bit, but you want to feel it going up and down as you breathe in and out. And when you do that, for just a minute a day, you feel yourself more relaxed. Like you can, you can probably feel more relaxed already, right? Because you're, you're exercising that navel chakra, you're exercising that Dantian. 
And reason that relaxes is, uh, is because most of us, when you get stressed, we breathe up within the chest <sighs> and the shoulders, right? You can see it going up and down. <sighs> now, that doesn't relax you. That actually makes you tense and actually puts you into the fight or flight um, state of mind. So in order to calm yourself down and to relieve stress and to put yourself into the more the autonomic system, you do the belly breathing. And it's very relaxing when, when you do it just for a minute. You do it really well, right? Just sit up straight. Just put your hands in your belly. Just feel it going up and down. And, and um, it's a very simple thing to do, but you can, there's no limit to how far you can, you can master it. It's because yeah, there's no limit. It feels to amazing. How much, yeah. Yeah. And I've heard people talk about five, five breathing and how it's really good for the sympathetic nervous system, toning that down and then getting the parasympathetic nervous system up. Uh, yeah. But this is my first time hearing about belly breathing and how it's connected to chakra. So mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's basically storing, like building up energy in this belly center. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the energy, like it's not physical energy. People think energy is, oh yeah, I got bigger muscles. I can punch harder. I can go faster. Yeah. It is internal energy. And it, it's a, it's a, so I, I practice both external martial arts and internal martial arts. Mm -hmm. And people, it's, it's, it's basically learning how to have relaxation and structure and using your body mechanics more efficiently in order to generate power versus using your you know muscle uh tissue uh tendons right and you know physical conditioning so but if you combine both of them then you can generate a lot of force right so i i do boxing and the guys in the gym they're like wow how much do you weigh Right, I'm 150 pounds. They said, "No, you, you punch like you're 200 pounds." <laughs> right, so, so, and then the, even the even my coach, he's holding these thick pads, and after the session, his hands hurt. You know, wow. they're, they're holding pads about two or three inches big, and I'm like punching them for for an hour and a half. Right, so wow. so after the 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 pad session, yeah, he's like, he, "I can feel your knuckles through the pads." That's how. No, wow, how, dude, how, how hard I can punch. So anyway, um, um, so, so when you, when you train that, that's the beginning, right? That belly breathing, you're training relaxation, you're training your breath, coordination. And then when you start to express it out of the body, that's what Tai Chi is basically, right? You're learning to express that relaxation, that energy, that structure, that um, efficiency through movements of your body and the breath through movement and intention. So there's all the... So all that you, you see, intention, breath, structure, um, you know, chi energy, none of that is external. It's all internal and intention, right? And, and visualization, all is that internal, but that actually will increase your physical power. You're saying when you're doing these breathing and these, all these things internally, you're building up what? The electric, electromagnetic energy inside of you inside of your cells yes that's that's you're building that electromagnetic energy you can call it that yeah you can call it electromagnetic energy because that's what actually increases in your body there's more electrical act, uh, activity um mm -hmm. there's more voltage you can actually measure more voltage coming out of your organs and whenever there's a voltage wherever there's a current there's electromagnetic field because if you put a wire um Whenever there's a wire, there's a current running through a wire, there's an electromagnetic field that goes around it. So it, it's, you can't have electricity without electromagnetism. They have to be together. So, so when you create electricity, there's always electromagnetism and the other way around. Very cool. So then what are some practical ways we can increase the energy um, internally? So you said belly breathing. Is there anything else? Belly breathing, um, any kind of meditation is great, but just you know, proper training, uh, you know, get a good teacher to change you because sometimes if you do it improperly, you actually add tension to yourself and it may not be good for you. So the key is the relaxation, right? There's many different breathing methods um, that I do every day. Um, there's, there's bone marrow washing, breathing, there's whole body, there's belly breathing. And the next level after that is you breathing through your feet. Well, what? 
Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like when you feel, when you do enough belly breathing, then you can start feeling tingles in your, in your, in your stomach when you do it, right? You can yeah. actually, basically you're like becoming more sensitive and you're more aware of what's going on there. Um, but then that doesn't limit to the belly, right? Cause you can actually do it in any part of your body. So when you start mastering that and next level you do your feet, you actually breathe through the ground, through your feet and you can feel it, you know, come, coming through your feet and the next level after that is breathe through your whole body and so on. This, you know, and then you keep going on just different, different levels of breathing. But then the, the key is how do you increase your chi energy? That is a really good way, but it takes a really, really long time. Like for example, it, I, I did a belly breathing for I say six months before I actually felt anything in there, in my belly, right? Because not right now I can breathe it, I can feel it instantly, right? But before I said, like, okay, I feel it going up and down, but I don't feel any chi energy. Like, what's this chi energy? Is it real or not? Yeah. But I just kept doing it, relaxing. And then I say, well, wait a minute. Hmm, I feel a little bit of heat in there now. Oh, oh, I feel a little bit of, mag you know, magnetic, some kind of thing in there. So, um, so it takes time. And that's one of the reasons I invented Chico. I was like, well, I want people to experience this Chi much faster. <laughs> so why don't I just make a technology to do it? Because this is actually replicating everything that I just talked about, all the meditation, all the Qigong, all those exercises. And it basically does it for you with the coils. And how it works is when I talk about electromagnetic fields, this actually creates electromagnetic fields. And it creates in a way that is uh, efficiently absorbed by your body because of the shape. This is called the yeah, torus. Talk about the shape a little bit. This is really interesting. Like, yeah. why is it in these coils? What is it made out of? This is called the toroid. Okay, the toroid is like a donut. And if you think of uh, the shapes that you see in nature, what does this remind you of? In nature, um, a tornado. Yeah, a tornado. But you see it throughout nature, as small as our blood cell, it's actually a torus, right? True, um, like or the red even, blood cell, right? It's right? in the middle. Even, yeah, exactly. Um, electromagnetic field of Earth, as big as the Earth, is in the torus. Uh, the galaxies are shaped like this, right? Hmm. So, so, uh, and even the new fusion reactors I did mention, they're all shaped like this. It's all this. You look at the how they are, you know, or even the the collider, the, the electron collider, it's, it's a giant torus. <laughs> yeah, and I think the energy coming out of us too, that's also a torus, right? Like, well, that's interesting because the word chakra means spinning wheel. Oh, <laughs> interesting. So, yeah. so is it actual physical, actual spinning wheel? Yeah, yes, it's actually a vortex. So, it's, so it describes our chakras are actually vortex. So. If, if our bodies and then if nature uses this to, let's say, perpetuate energy, why don't use this to, you know, give your body the energy that it needs? So that's why these are very, very powerful. And, and uh, I personally heal myself with it. I cannot claim it heals anything, you know, medically. I can't make any claims like that, but you can go to our website. You can see hundreds and hundreds of people that say they are healed, right? Even from people who had cancer, people who had stage four cancer, which is incurable people who have diabetes, people who have heart issues, people who have autism, like they say oh, it's incurable, but all of these people are saying that um, they're getting some incredible life-changing results with it. So I'm very, a lot of times, like when I first did this, I just say, well, okay, heal me. Maybe my, my, my family can use it. And they start using it well, and they start getting healthier too. And then uh, I say, wow, this is pretty neat. Maybe I should, um, you know, make this into a product and make it available to people package all together because my background was in engineering, uh, software development, music, you know, so, and, you know, so, so I thought, you know, I can make this, I can, I can create something and create a business from it. And then yeah. now it's like six or seven years later, we got ten, tens of thousands of customers and transforming lives all over the place. And so I'm very honored to be in this position. So I went from being completely sick and completely broke uh, depressed to now, you know, fairly successful and um, I'm happy. I'm super healthy. Look, I, how old do I look to you? You look great, dude. I mean, like, and I've seen you in person too. Yeah, you yeah. look great in person. It's not just the lighting. Yeah, so but I, you know how old I am, but, but. Um, yeah, but you look like you're in your 20s. Like, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, when you first yeah. met me, you say, hey, you know, this guy's in his maybe 30s, early 30s, maybe late 20s, right? Yeah. But I'm 43. 
So it's insane. <laughs> yeah. And then so I'm very so, jealous yeah. of your skin. I have bad skin because of eczema, you know, but your skin's like perfect, dude. It's like glowing and it's not perfect, but it's not bad for a 43 year old. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. So um so and then, you know, I and I'm training three or four times a week at the gym and you know, and then doing some pretty intense exercising and I still have energy to do everything else in my life. So um so I'm pretty happy and I'm I'm I can kind of see where things are going to go. And every day is transforming me a little more every day. So, awesome. so did you expect yeah. it to have this kind of impact on yourself and on people when you were first discovering it? I think I've always known that I ha have a significant role, you know, in, in the world because um, when I was 10 years old, I had a near death experience uh -huh. a, and uh, I broke basically cracked my skull when I fell over like one story or two stories down the stairs, like over the stairs and you cracked I, your head. You said, yeah, my skull was fractured. Wow. So, and then I only had a 50% chance of living even. And even if I lived, I had uh, a chance of brain damage for the rest of my life, but none of that happened. I actually survived and then, and I did quite well, you know, a after I recovered, I started becoming more spiritual and started becoming more, I guess, um, you know, more in tune with, with higher powers. Yeah. And, and I always ask, like, I, I, I kind of always knew because of that incident that I had some kind of role to play or some kind of reason to, to survive and to, um, to make the most impact while I'm on planet earth, while I can, you know, I use the, use my abilities to the best they can, they can, uh, flourish. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now, I love that you're an engineer. So, um, you know, you can get technical with it. Um, let's talk a little bit more about this. I want to talk more specific. Let's talk about the design. So um, you said you've designed these, uh, this spiral shape to reflect that of nature. So uh, can you talk more about that? Is that so when you design these coil shapes, does the energy that's coming off of these become more powerful versus like, I don't know, what if it was just a stick? Like what's the difference between this energy versus a different shape? Well, first of all, because of the shape, it's a lot more efficient. So the field becomes a lot bigger. Okay. So you put in a little bit of current and then it creates a huge field, right? That's, that's how the fusion reactors work, right? They put in little, they put in power and get more power out than they put in. Okay. Yeah. So these are highly efficient. And I think there's some people that create similar stuff and they're able to create more energy more electricity than they put in so it's over unity and then and then and then oh. those are being, all being covered up by the government because they don't want people to get free energy right free. yeah yeah so <laughs> you know but but i'm not i'm not using it for that purpose i'm using this for better health health and wellness so um so yeah yes well it will be have a bigger field and it'll like i said it will interact with your energy, a human's energy field, or even animals, or even plants energy field more naturally. Okay. Because there are other electromagnetic field devices. There's mats and you can line on, there's sticks, so they, there's like different coils, but, or even tubes. Like, but the problem with them, they're not shaped like nature. And mm -hmm. um, you can feel the difference. First of all, they're not that strong. They don't have a large field because they're not in the right shape in the first place. Second of all, um, it just feels completely different. And you, and the reason you know it works because these are wound in different patterns. There's a yin and there's a yang, and they feel different. They actually feel different. So the yin one will will make you relaxed and calm and expansive, and then the yang will make you feel focused and even aggressive. Interesting. So, yeah. So should so, you use one at a time, or is it okay to use both? Either, either or, right? Whatever you need, right? Let's say you want to, you're 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 going to. Uh, a competition and you need like, oh, you need young energy. You need to, you know, beat everybody. <laughs> so, so you use the yin coil for 30 minutes and then that will make you really feel like, oh, let's go and make things happen. Right. If you need to relax, then you use the engine every day. I'm using both, right. Cause it balances and there's different ways configuring them. Actually, I figured out like you put in this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Uh, it has a different effect. You feel different sensations, Oh, different, oh different you'll feel like you've meditated in a different way because even meditation 
there's different feelings you can get from it. And so the same thing happens in the course, but the key thing is doing it automatically. That's the neat thing. It's all automatic. Uh, so that's, that's the, one of the main benefits of having these, uh, this shape. Now, if you look closely, I don't know if you've seen camera, there's actually crystals inside. There's three crystals. You have yeah. them. So, so those are quartz crystals, uh, and they actually increase the resonance on an other level. The same way that uh, radios work, they actually, they're creating an electromagnetic field around a little tiny crystal in a radio. That's how they project the signal. And that's actually what we're doing inside of these uh, coils as well. Is this a special kind of quartz or just like, it's all um, quartz, citrine, kind of the same? Citrine, citrine quartz. So it's like golden quartz. Cool. Uh, all right. And then, um, you know, you said there's different configurations, like facing up, facing down. How do we figure that out or do you just play with it? Well, there's a chart on my website in the setup page, like tutorials, advanced tutorials, right? Um, now, now the difference is subtle, but if you're, let's say an energy healer or any person that does meditation or even somebody who's sensitive, then you, you can definitely feel it quite, quite dramatically. But the key thing is just that you, you just turn it on, right? The key thing is just you using it. The key, the main thing is the frequency as well. Not all frequencies are created equal. And we have over 10,000 frequencies on our software. Um, we have all of Dr. Rife's frequencies, if people are familiar with Dr. Rife. Plus, we've created about 1,000 of our own proprietary frequencies, which are more advanced than any other frequency that's out there. Um, and the reason, I can play some for you. You can hear the, hear the difference. By the way, I'm, I'm hearing some like beep, boop, beep, boop, like alien-like sounds. Is that you? I just turned it off. Yeah, I was playing something. Were those frequencies? Yeah. So I was playing something. Now I turned it off. I'll play something for you here. Now, you might be saying, okay, I thought you were talking about electromagnetic waves. Why are you playing sounds? Well, the reason is because we actually use sounds to create electromagnetic waves. Wow. And that's what makes it unique. Nobody else is doing this. Nobody else is doing this. For example, let's play... Uh, Where's this? Oh, you're right, because it's an audio cable at the end of this thing. Yeah, so we have a patent for that. And uh, so here, here's one. Okay, so when you hear that, do you feel, what do you feel the vibration in your body? I don't know, hard to say. Most people feel in their head, they feel kind of like expansive in their forehead and the expansive. Um, so that's a pineal gland activation. People can feel it like inside their head, something vibrating inside their head. So, so we figure out not only the frequency, but the sequence of frequencies and the and the rhythm speed of the frequencies in order to stimulate that part of the body. Now, most people are, they're using one frequency. Oh yeah, it is 528. That is the one frequency that's going to give me enlightenment. But nature doesn't work like that. Nature doesn't give one frequency at a time, right? Nature gives infinite number of frequencies at a time, right? If you take a look at, like if you experience something in, in in, in, in the world, it's three dimensions, it's four dimensional, it moves in space and it has, you know, it has, has shape, it has width, height and depth and moving through time, right? So why do you make frequencies in just one dimension? So that we, I, so that's why we make frequencies, they're actually four dimensional. You hear, there you go, the do, 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 do. So that is creating a shape whenever you hear those different frequencies. You can see in, in, the, spe in the spectrum analysis, it actually creates a shape. And it's not always the same shape. It actually shifts every time. That's why you feel, oh, it feels like it's off tune because every time it's changed the angle a little bit. So that it's as if we had a triangle and it's moving. Every time you're hearing it, it's creating a different, it's actually moving. So this is a four dimensional frequency. That's amazing, dude. So how did you figure that out? Like, how did you find the specific sounds frequencies for like the pineal gland? Like, how did you even? Well, there's different, different ways of, of doing it. Like, for example, there's, uh, uh, one way 
technique that we use is called um, uh, substance emulation. So let's say you take DMT. You guys, okay. you know what DMT is? Yeah, dimethyltryptamine. So it's it's yeah. the it's the god molecule, spirit molecule, right? That yeah. is produced by your pineal gland, and it gives you psychic abilities and so on, or, or spiritual experiences, right? So, well, we we can just go online and search and see what the you know molecular structure is, and we we can say, okay, what is the angle there? How many of these molecules are there? What's the what's the what's the distance between them? What's the mass of them? convert that all into, into numbers. Oh, and then, oh, so it's all mathematical. Yeah, it's all mathematical. Wow. Well, our reality is all mathematical. It's all geometric. Right. Okay? Like the flower of life, for example, right? How our cells divide. It's all geometric. It's all mathematical. So right. uh, uh, our reality the universe is created through a very, um, through universal laws. Like for example, uh, the phi ratio, 1.618, and it goes on and on and on. That is a universal ratio that you see everywhere, right? Everything that's created uh, is based is that on the spiral the shape where it yeah, goes like spiral. this, yeah. smaller and smaller. Yeah. So, so the pyramids, they're all built on ratios and angles and, and numbers and specific geometries that match up to the stars and, and the, and the energy field, energy field of the planet itself. So, so, um, so we go back to the you know, ancients. The ancients knew all this, right? That's how they built the pyramids. That why they built the palace in a certain way in different dimensions. Even in in, in the Bible, the uh, Solomon's Temple is all geometric, specific lengths, shapes, squares, cubes, right? Why did they do that? Just so that it looks nice? Not really, right? The pyramid doesn't look that nice. It's just a triangle, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I mean, just a pyramid, right? So. So, but they built it um, for a specific reason because it's, it, it is tapping into the math of the universe or the geometry of the universe. So, so we, we say, okay, why don't we use that principle to create frequencies as well? Because that's how nature is by itself. That's amazing. Now, you, there's the, the sound part and there's also the electromagnetic. So, is it more beneficial if you listen to it and you do the device? It's kind of like saying, is it better for you to eat apples or oranges, right? So, <laughs> so they're different things. They're both fruits, but they're both good for you and they both taste good. Same thing. So the, the sound and frequencies are both good for you. They taste differently or they feel different, but you can eat, have, and you can eat both at the same time. So, um, and with our system, you can do that, right? You can actually plug in the speaker listen to them and use the coils at the same time. So that's what, that's why we have patent that makes us very unique uh, and, and makes us a lot more effective because we're using kind of stacking many, many of these uh, different method methodologies, but it's all based on frequency. Yeah. So it's much more powerful than if I, let's say, go to YouTube, I search like 528 Hertz and then I listen to that. Well, how many people have like, I mean, some people are going to say, oh yeah, it's, you know, help me do this and make me feel nice and calm and it, it, it sounds like nice music but when people listen to our look at the comments on our youtube channel because we put out a couple of these frequencies it's crazy these comments people are experiencing mm -hmm. some crazy experience that a lot a lot of them is too strong for them so they actually either hate it actually i would say 20 percent of people hate it 80 percent of people say they're blown away because we put our dmt frequency on on youtube for free and uh we got like 500,000 views on it now. Wow. And we have like something like 2000 comments. Wow. Yeah, so, and so people can feel it with just the audio. No, yeah. no. Achievement. Yeah. Just read the comments. I mean, every day there's comments coming in and they say, it's like, Oh wow. I, uh, had this, um, this to pain. And then, uh, I was listening to this just for a minute, 60 seconds. And the pain was gone after that, which shows that, you know, we, we're onto something quite quite profound with, with using these frequencies compared to, compared to generic stuff out there. Right. Cause let's say, you know, you search abundance frequency and I said, Oh yeah, we have this abundance frequency and music. So all, all they're doing is still based on one frequency. And then let's say it's 520. So they use, that's why they, and then they build like meditation music based on that, that one sound. That's it, right? It's not, and, and, I mean, if, if you try to improve something that 
in the first place didn't do much, you're not going to get much as a result, right? So, so, um, but it's nice to listen to. It's music. I mean, all music is all most of it is therapeutic. If it's soft, relaxing music, it's all therapeutic. But if you want, you know, dramatic transformations, you probably need something that is a little bit more advanced than that. Gotcha. Let's talk about the abundance frequency for a little bit. So you said that you discovered the you know, DMT, for example, by looking at the molecule. Mm -hmm. How did you create the abundance one? Like, what is that based on? That's that's based on um, certain uh, states of consciousness, right? So it, it, Joe Dispenza, you know, he talks about manifesting, and I can sum it into three things, right? Manifesting is first to experience with your senses everything. Um, that you can experience of having achieved that something that you want. Let's say as simple as a sports car. So let's say, you know, there's a sports car or this car that you dream about. So how do you experience it with all your senses? You know, you sit in the sports car, you're visualizing how it looks like, you're smelling the the, the new car scent. Yeah. Right? You're hearing the engine roar, uh, you're feeling the leather, right? So all your senses, right? So the, the more clearly you can, or more visually uh, you can uh, experience that, then, then the better. Now, the next step is to feel the emotional um, aspects. So every, as you're sitting there, you're experiencing it with your senses. Now, experience it emotionally, like what you're feeling. You feel exhilaration, you feel excitement, you feel achievement, you feel contentment, you feel elevated, right? So like live that moment and feel those feelings. And the third thing is just to intensify it or amplify that because when that and then resonate so so when you when you intensify those feelings and really get into that moment and just expand and just add energy to it then you start to resonate that frequency okay and some okay. you know most people can 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 do that but many people can't because first they never achieved it in the first place right a lot of people have never felt really 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 um elevated especially these days, most people, most kids, I, they're so depressed. <laughs> they're always yeah. dealing with anxiety. Oh, I have anxiety. Oh, I don't feel motivated to do anything. Right. Yeah. And uh, so, so that's the new norm. The new normal is like everybody's depressed and low energy and kind of like borderline, you know, anxious all the time. So, um, so how do you get people to, to, to meditate with these experiences when they never experienced it before? And, the key, so what we did is we actually are able to recreate these experiences using frequencies. So you can actually just turn it on and you have a way to manifest instantly. Because that's all manifesting station is, those three steps. So yeah. if you can get yourself into that consciousness, that actual state of being emotionally, um, with, you know, with your visualization and your, and your senses, if you can unlock that and also amplify it with energy, we can do those three steps, then you can actually just meditate and manifest without actually without having to learn how to do it. Right? Got you. So you're saying, um, use those three steps, like close your eyes, visualize while using the frequency. Well, that would be even better. I'm saying we have automated that manifestation process without really. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So then is there anything you need to do while you're, let's say playing the abundance manifestation? I think frequency? just relax, right? Uh, you don't have to do anything. It does it for you. Amazing. Yeah. It's kind of like, um, it, it, it's very similar to music. Let's say you have a favorite song and then that song makes you want to dance, right? Let's say you're in a really kind of like a, you know, down mood, not feeling very energetic, but you're playing that song in the background. And then all of a sudden your feet starts to tap. Right. All of a sudden you start to like get up and move around a little bit. And all of a sudden you kind of feel like moving, you feel like a little more chipper. Right. So what, what happened, right? That, that song, because it resonated with you automatically brought you up to a higher resonance. Okay. So did it require effort? Did you have to meditate? Probably not, but the, the frequency itself automatically did it for you. So that's why we do with our frequency, except that we know precisely what frequencies can get you into states of manifestation. That's amazing, dude. Um, so let's get a little bit practical too. Um, you know, my wife has been using it as well and she had a lot of questions. So how much time do you use it every day? Is it better if you put it close to your body versus five feet away? 
there's some in a, one video you talked about don't put it on the top of your head why um maybe explain some of the actual practical like best practices it just depends what you want to do with it it's kind of like saying okay you have a flashlight like what are you going to use with it right mm -hmm. are you going to use it to yeah light up a dark room are you going to use it to light up the room ambiently are you going to use it to look into a closet right so you basically have a energy source this energy source how are you going to use it right like well do you want to work on that navel chakra then we'll put it directly on your navel chakra right do you want to work on your heart chakra then put it directly in your heart chakra do you have shoulder pain they'll put it directly in your shoulder you can do that or you say okay i just want to uh give myself abundance or i just want to help me focus while i'm working I just put it on my desk and just leave it running for um, 30 minutes to usually just 30 minutes. I don't need that much. Now, if you're saying, oh, I just want to run all day in my house and just uplift, you know, the general mood and atmosphere of the house and for all the kids and the animals, you can just leave it in the middle of the house and just have it running 24 seven on a program or even through a sequence of programs. So, so you how have, you can never get too much. You can get too much. So, 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 so that's why you have to experiment for yourself. Everybody's different. Some people are more sensitive. So like, let's say they use it for 10 minutes. They say, Oh, I, I feel like so charged up and so, so vibrating. I can't, it's like drinking too much coffee. So they have to stop using it uh, for that day until later. Right. Uh, and some people is, they can use more. So it just depends on how sensitive a person is like per like I use it about 30 minutes a day while i'm using i'm playing the sound we also have some speakers right that um like if you want to sample our technology we you can use some of our speakers that have the frequencies built in and it's so convenient we have one for sleep when we just have the sleep sounds on it we have one for meditation just have meditation sounds on it so if you want something super simple you just you just turn it on i use this this is for brain so i turn it on and uh in the morning and it helps my brain while i'm using coils and the red light panels. So I'm getting like all these, I'm getting this um, recharge of every part of my body, my brain, my body, and electromagnetically all at the same time. So does that answer your question? Amazing. It does. Yeah. So for yourself, um, you find that 30 minutes a day is good for you to, to get the frequencies you need. Yeah. So I'm just sitting on the ground. I got these red light panels behind me. I have frequencies for my red light panels too, that we actually provide them on our website too. And then uh, I put the coils in front of me on the floor like this. I put the yin on the left facing up and the yang on the right facing up. And that's a specific way, reason I do that. And then I turn on the uh, recharge frequency for about 10 or 15 minutes. And I play the attract abundance frequencies for about 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm listening to uh, something for my brain here for about 15 minutes. And then uh, usually I'm working on my computer I have my laptop, so I'm checking my emails. And after 30 minutes, I, I feel like, wow, I'm like supercharged. I think you're good for the rest of the day. Yeah, for the rest of the day. Wow. Amazing. Cool. That's why I look this good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the results speak for themselves. You exactly. Know? <laughs> Amazing, man. So um, for the people out there that, you know, it's this concept is still kind of hard to grasp, like really like sound frequency like does it really affect our health um what do you have to say to the naysayers and doubters out there like what's the you know how can you address all their questions because i know we're going to get comments like this is PS. yeah i mean uh i mean there's obviously people that will have skepticism uh, but just look at the science right if you if you there's two ways you can verify this yourself if someone that is like all analytical just look at the science right we have a whole research um, section on our website and it shows, you know, look, you know, NASA did research on this. They say that it is uh, increasing cell regeneration 40%, right? There's a lot, like hundreds of different universities all around the world that talk about pulse electromagnetic field therapy or PMF therapy, right? Uh, and how it actually, they're using sound to, to, um, to break up cancer cells now. So just look at the scientific research and you say, yeah, okay, well, yeah, actually sound and electromagnetism is, is scientific. It works, hands down. Now, if you have somebody that wants to like experience it and prove it to yourself, then you can actually use our free frequencies because we have eight of them that you can use for free. 
And you say, hey, let's see if this these frequencies actually make me feel differently and listen to them. What Where doing. do you find those? Are those on YouTube? Uh, some on YouTube. And, um, but you can, I give you a w- website if that's okay with you guys yeah, go for it. later on. And you can, you can go directly there uh, and, and, down, and use them. We have a web site that you can play the frequencies directly on. Uh, and there's eight of them. There's like remove negative energy, luck boost, uh, recharge, and sleep. I mean, I use the sleep one every single night for, for the last seven years. And I sleep like a baby before I had sleep problems. Uh, so, so these frequencies alone is it's worth like five hundred dollars. We're giving it for free, and the reason to do that is because we're so confident that it's going to help you, that you're going to say, "Wow, I want more of this. I want to experience the chi calls," and you're going to get the chi calls later. So, so if if, you, if you're just like that, you want to experience it, you want to prove it yourself, then we have those available to you, and you can test it. Right? You can do a, a couple of days listening to the frequencies, and then stop, and then after. You know, two or three. It, it still kind of resonates with you after a, a day or so, and then don't use it for let's say three or four days and see how you feel. You can you can do that test with yourself, or you test it with your animals, or or test it with your with your family members, and and see what the results are. But and then and then you'll be probably pretty surprised because I gave this to people and they say, "Wow, David, this stuff works." That's usually the response I guess. Like this this really worked for me. Um, whereas I've tried all these frequencies, like my, your frequencies is something else. Wow. Do you have any favorites? Yeah, I have, um, favorites right, right now. I use also something called BPC one, five, seven, uh, you biohackers out there. You might know what that is. It's like an amino acid. So it's a building block for muscles. So, cause I'm training a lot, uh, you know, of sports right now. So it really helps me. Uh, so yeah, even, I don't even fit the pants. I, I used to wear and not in a bad way. My thighs are getting so much muscle that my skinny pants, I can't wear them anymore. <laughs> what? Yeah. People say things, oh, okay, you, you can't fit your pants, you're getting too fat. But in the my, my thighs, my muscle and my thighs are getting so big. No way, dude. Wow. Okay. I need that too. I have really skinny legs, so I could use that. What's it called again? B what? BPC 157. It's, 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 uh, it's an amino acid. So because we created... Remember when I talked about uh, uh, substance emulation? So we emulated all the top biohacking supplements that are on the on the market right now, like methylene blue, NAD, NAC, NMN. Um, what else? Cerulimus, rapamycin, glycine. Um, well, I just mentioned BPC one five seven. I think there's a couple more. We have zinc. We have all the vitamins. So you say, well, what what do you mean you have all these supplements? Well, it's like we have digital supplements, supplements. Wow. <laughs> so supplements that are digital, you, you just listen or you, you use your coils with them and you're, you're sending information. You see, think about it, supplements like the pills, what they do is just send your body information, right? It just gives them information, chemical information and tells it what to do, instructions. So if the body is just a series of instructions and information, why not just send the information electromagnetically or through vibration. Wow. So we truly are living in the digital age. Yes. Digitize everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So um, the uh, I got a question for you. So there's uh, PEMF mats, right? You mentioned those. Mm-hmm. Um, they're these big mats people lay on, right? Yeah. Pulses, electromagnetic fields. Um, how do those compare to the chi coil? It's kind of like comparing a bicycle to a, um, let's say the newest, the newest uh, McLaren, like, <laughs> or uh, electric car or something like that, right? So yeah, it'll get you from point A to point B, but it's old technology and it's slow. It doesn't have all oh, that. Oh, they're, the, they're the bicycle. Yeah, they're the bicycle. Yeah. So um, versus if you use the Qi calls, it was, we take, we basically took PMF therapy and we took it many steps further into the future. Right. Like the mats, they have like these really flat and thin coils, uh, which work, but then they generate really tiny, tiny field. That's why you have to actually lie on the mat to get the energy. Right. You have to actually make contact with them. Uh, plus they have, they, they're just using single frequencies. They're using usually anywhere from zero to 30 Hertz. So they'll have like, oh, let's say, oh, this is the ultimate frequency, 10 Hertz. Wow. 10 Hertz. So who cares? It's just 10 Hertz. Right. Just the one. Just 10. Usually they do a combination and say, oh, we have a 
you know, um, 12, you know, 12.5. And then they say that's a new amazing frequency, but it's just still one frequency, right? So they use yeah. 30 years or something and they use combinations of them, but it's still just one frequency at a time. Uh, and I mean, it's, st it's still good for you. It's good for you, but then like a bicycle still gets you from point A to B, point B. It just takes you a lot longer and then and you have to, it's not as, not as efficient, right? Not as, uh, as, as, as uh, robust as something as she call technology, where you have different kinds of, um, configurations of the energy field itself using different shapes. And you have a huge magnetic field that interfaces with your body's chakras, right? Through the shape of the vortex. You have even larger ones like this one you see in the background, which you may or might not see. So these are called. Oh, dude, or, that's amazing. What is that? So, so they're actually quite big and come back, see two feet by two feet. Yeah. And, uh, these are used by clinics and spas, health centers, wellness centers. They, and they covers the entire place, the 3000 to 6,000 square feet. Wow. Right. So you're not gonna get technology like that from a wow. mat. You, you invented those. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amazing. And so you sell those on the website too. We have those. Yeah. They're called Chico Aura. And then, um, and they don't have. The four dimensional, the frequent, the substance emulation, they don't have the, they don't have the understanding uh, of these high level advanced frequencies that we have, right? They're still working with just the, the basic ones. Whereas we're already at the three, you know, three dimensional, four dimensional ones. Uh, and we were doing some very, I guess, I guess very unique and groundbreaking, um, techniques of development frequencies that have been very profound. So that's the comparison bicycle versus the, the newest, uh, electric, uh, <laughs> supercar. Gotcha. <laughs> Got <it>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, dude. And then now what about new tech that's coming out? Um, like bioresonant jewelry, right? So for example, I'm wearing this bait, this bracelet right here. Mm -hmm. There's companies like Lila quantum that claim that they infuse frequencies inside of a object. Yeah. Yeah, we have those too. We have pendants that we infuse. We have uh, energy cards that we infuse. Um, those are good, but the problem is you can't change the frequencies of them. Okay, so so you have one frequency. It's good. You know, you might energetically have something that you can wear that can kind of balance your energy field, um, but it's very subtle. So it's very very subtle. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just very subtle. You can't change the frequency, um, but they're still good. I, I like them sometimes I don't, I don't wear them because I find that if I wear it, I have to take it off because I'm so sensitive to them. Sometimes it's too strong because the thing with jewelry, you can't turn it off. It's always projecting that frequency, right? There's a secret way of turning it off. I'm not going to share with you right now, but, but, um, but you have to, you have to take it off if you, do, in order to turn it off, right. And put it far away from you. Sometimes they're, uh, and then you can't change the frequency. So, so if you like the frequency, then that's great. But sometimes your body doesn't like the frequency, then you can't change it. So that's, gotcha. that's my okay. opinion about it, but it's nothing that they're all good. It's just, so it's have, legit because I get made fun of a lot, you know, they're like, this is nonsense. You really believe that? How does, how does it work? There's no battery. You know, how can it possibly be giving off any frequency? So uh -huh. can you explain some of that to people well, so they can understand? Let's say a dog, right? You have a pet? I don't know. Okay. So, but many people have pets. Have you petted a dog before? Yeah. Does it make you feel good? Many times. Yes. Okay. So it's actually scientifically proven that it calms stress, right? It relieves your stress by 40%. Maybe just pet a dog. Yep. Okay. So would you say that the dog has a frequency? It does. Yeah. Okay. So if you bring the dog with you all the time, you'll feel good, right? You too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so, so let's say that the dog has a frequency and you carry it with you. Uh, and it makes you feel good. And whenever you pet the dog, you feel good. So, you know, it works. <laughs> the dog is working. Okay. Yeah. So, so what if we say that you can put an, make an object, have the same, have a frequency of a dog, okay. but how, how do you infuse frequency into a physical? Leela quantum will not tell you, and I'm not going to tell you, but there's this technique of doing it. Okay. And then even if I told you people say that's impossible. Impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but the concept is how do you infuse a, a frequency? And say, okay. Well, okay. Let's do it one way that people can kind of like understand a crystal, you know, the monitor you're looking at is just a bunch of crystals, right? 
the screen that you're looking at, just a tiny, tiny crystals in there. And did you know that um, they're different colors because you put a different frequency into them, right? So um, they have memory too, you know, your hard drive, it's just crystal, but you can put files into it and it can store information. Okay. Crystals can store information. But so can, um, so let's say we have a crystal and we put in some files or some music in there, some frequency, it's going to store that information. So, so that's a simple way of explaining it. You can actually store information in a crystal, but if you go with further than that, everything is a crystal. Everything ha has a molecular structure. Everything has a geometry. So your pendants, even though it's metal, metal, metal itself is a crystal as is a geometry, right? So if we can store, so we can figure out a way to put information into a geometry, then you have basically programmed that, that item, that object with a energy or a frequency. Okay. 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 And then how it works is kind of like the dog, right? You have that frequency with you, you're always going to feel good. Now, I'm trying to combine two simplified concepts to explain what's happening with the jewelry. And what most people will never go into that depth. They say, oh, we infused it. And that's all they need to know. We infused it. And yeah. Which is hard to wrap your head around. Exactly. Like, what and in the old days, guess value? what they do? Okay. And then people say, this is all voodoo. Right? But in, in the old days, look at the Taoists, what they do. Now, are you Chinese? Right. Chinese. Taiwanese, actually. Taiwanese? Okay. Yeah. Do you, I don't know if you're young. You remember you go into the temple and there's all these monks praying and they're hitting the thing. Doo! Oh, uh, yeah, I've seen yeah. that, yeah. And then you know, once a year, right, the families would go to the temple and they would pray and they, they would like, um, uh, they would like uh, do all these rituals and stuff like that, right? But one ritual that they do is they would write something on their, on their little envelope and they put the envelope and they would leave it at the temple. Do you know why they do that? Is there a specific frequency to that note now? Well, guess what they do at the temple all the time? Pray, chant. Same. They're chanting, they're, they're, yeah, they're chanting, they're praying, they're doing rhythm. So they're, they have frequencies in the temple all the time. So right. when they basically with that envelope or that item that you left there, they're basically connecting that with you or your family or, or your body somehow. Uh, and because they are, it's kind of like voodoo. Okay. They're positively resonating that thing. And that kind of like, um, that, um, indirectly or directly through space and time is affecting you while they're chanting year round and you pay them for that. Right. That's how the Taoists kind of make money or, or get donations. Yeah. Okay. So that's the old concept. But then we took like a look at newer concepts such as quantum entanglement and realize, wait a minute, they're actually doing something interesting. They were onto something. They were onto something. Right? It's crazy. Yeah. Quantum entanglement. <laughs> is that we can actually entangle two electrons across a large distance and they will be in instant communication with each other. Yeah, faster than light. Faster than light. So there's some other yeah. some other way they're communicating, not through space time. It's something that connects everything in reality instantaneously. Hmm. And they Getting call, chills, yeah. yeah they, so they call that the university, universal field, the matrix. So if yeah. space time is just an illusion then, because we all actually connected instantaneously at every point in space. So when they're resonating and they're praying, and then that envelope or that little, uh, whatever statue that you bought and you left in a temple, they, they, with their mind, they're connected it with you. That's crazy. So you're entangled with that piece of paper. Yeah. So the same thing is happening with your jewelry. Okay. But they do it digitally. And I, I actually invented something, um, which is completely different from Chi calls. Uh, you can check it out if you can find it. It's called cheatenergy.ai. And I use that principle. Say, what if I could create something kind of like the, what the Taoists did and based on quantum entanglement and be able to entangle people's phones with energy. So you don't need to wear it. You just need to use a phone. And the neat thing is now you can switch on and off and you can choose which frequency, right? Which is, not, which is um, you can't do that with a, with a jewelry. And you can't do that with the monks. You can't say, hey, monk, can you chant a different chant today? <laughs> right? 
Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I'm feeling, actually you can, right? You can say, you can get energy healers to do this for you. So, oh, I'm feeling, you know, I need healing today and they'll do some healing prayer for your healing meditation, right? Um, that's doable, but see, that requires a person. But what now with the digital age, we can combine all those ancient practices that have, you know, people have taught and practiced for millennia and there's a reason for it. And now use it or, or, or create or, or basically emulate it or duplicate it in the, in the digital way. And we have technology to do that. And that's, that's kind of like what I want to do and that's what I'm doing with Qi Life. The reason it's called Qi Life is because Qi is like some kind of ancient concept of life force. And then coil is more like a, you know, like a futuristic technology based word, right? So that's why I call it Qi Coil, I'm combining the ancient concepts of life force with modern technology. Amazing. So you're saying that the modern day, right, like digital version of what the monks did, are you, are people actually using machines to like blast frequencies into these types of bracelets and jewelry? There's different ways of doing it, right? So I have a specific way of doing it. Other people have specific ways, but whatever it is, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how it's done, which method it is. It's like, does it actually have a result? Okay. So yeah. like when you're wearing it, even if it's, people say it's placebo, placebo is very reliable. Sure. It's very powerful actually. Yeah. <laughs> right? So cancer, even if people yeah. say, oh, it's just placebo. Well, well, that means you're saying that it's reliable then. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because, because placebo is the one of the most reliable um, outcomes from any kind of clinical trial. Right. They know that it works for 10 to, 10 to 20% of the time, all the time. <laughs> right. So it's it was very reliable. So even if it's police field, that means it's reliable. But even if it's not, right, let's say you put on someone that doesn't even know it's happening, that's the, if it's on them, then even better. Right. So, so when people are skeptical, it doesn't matter if you analyze too much, you kind of stopping yourself from getting the results that you want. Right. Like for, for me, like even like Bruce Lee, he said, you know, test everything and just keep what works, but don't have a closed mind, right? Because before the MMA came out, everybody thought that they were the best. Oh, my, my Kung Fu is the best. Oh, my karate is the best. But until you prove it in the ring, it's not. Okay. So same thing with your life. Test everything. Don't put your mind and say, oh, I, I'm the best or, or this doesn't work or this is never going to work or try it out, test it out, prove it. And then if it doesn't work, throw it away. If it works, keep it. Okay. So, so, yeah. right? so, so you may be skeptical, but it's free. Try out the frequencies. If it works, keep it. If it doesn't, don't use it. Try something else, but don't have a closed mind. Have an open mind because if you have a closed mind, it's limiting you from improving yourself to what you can become. Yeah. You know what? I think what's so hard is in Western culture, we've been indoctrinated with like this, like this view of Newtonian physics where everything is a chemical reaction in our bodies. And what you see is what you get. It's hard to grasp these concepts of energy and these things that you can't see or, uh, you know, things outside of modern medicine. It's like, wait, I've never heard of that. It must not be true. And then, the, you know, it's easy to discount. And then if you try to explain it in a way that doesn't fit the model, then, you know, it must be garbage. It must be some sort of like a uh, snake oil. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just a shift. Like when you start, when you start to realize that our world is not just physical matter and that is actually uh, runs or it is, uh, is governed by frequency, energy, vibration, then, then that opens your eyes and you start to see things differently and say, well, when I'm interacting with one person here, it's just, just the meat, right. And the bones, or is there something more happening, right? Is there something more happening than just chemicals, right? Like when you walk in a room, when you feel a vibe from somebody, is that, is it more than just some kind of psychological thing, or is it actually some kind of energy that's or frequency that is projecting from this person and is and and the results from scientific experiments shown that there is there is something different coming from uh there's some kind of energy beyond 
just what you see or what you can feel, what you can touch. It's, it's, it's a, uh, yeah. And there's many, many of these frequencies that are coming out from a person that can be measured. You know, and we are called the anti-aging tips channel where we're all about holistic health longevity. So, um, you know, for the people watching, what are your best tips when it comes to, um, using frequencies for anti-aging? Yeah. Well, we have anti-aging frequency specifically, like we have brain frequencies, we have, um, you know, for skin beauty, we have, uh, for weight loss, we have all the anti-aging supplements like NMM, NAD that are very popular, uh, methylene blue, which is great for, for, uh, brain wellness. So use those frequencies and use them daily. It doesn't, it's something so easy to in, integrate into anything, right? You don't have to stop and allocate time and energy to do any of this stuff. It's just all automatic and you just need to turn it on. And then there's people that now, even years after getting our product, they're saying, thank you so much every day. You know, every day I'm getting better, even now, years later. So it's something you invest in once and it's just going to keep paying you back for years and years and years. And I, I, uh, look older five years ago than I now do today. Really? Yeah. And I feel better and feel younger too. So I look and feel and perform like athletically, um, better than I did five years ago. So, if it, so I am the result of this technology and, and the results speak for themselves, as you say. Amazing, dude. This was really, really enlightening, really helpful. I think, um, you know, you answering a lot of my like questions will really help clear things up. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for people to be learning about this because like you said, um, Nikola Tesla said, right, everything is about energy and vibration, right? So um, yeah, I think it's a big key to our health that isn't talked about enough. And thank you for inventing this device that's helping thousands and thousands of people. I think it's amazing. You're welcome. Cool. Thanks, David. Okay. Thanks, you.